What's going on, my man? Hey, Michael. It's really a pleasure to be with you. I got to get a mustache like that. See, like, when, <laughs> I, when I grow my shit out, like, it just, it just, I get the real Apollo Creed mustache. It gets, like, thick, and it's like, uh, I don't I've know. I've never tried it. I gotta. I the next time I'm a, I'm a, I'm growing it out. That's it. You're the second guy I seen with one of those. I need I need that. Yeah, you should try it. It's a, it's it's really it's a really good style. And maybe you you could try it. I don't know. Maybe a Donis Creed with a crazy mustache. Maybe maybe maybe. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, man? it's really an honor uh, to be able to speak with you. Uh, I'm Gio Romero from uh, La Prensa Gráfica and Freaky Verso. And well, uh, this is an interview that we will have for all the fans in El Salvador. So mm -hmm. we would like to know more about this movie, how, how how it was for you to be able to revisit the role of Adonis Creek now as a director and revisiting the role uh, as Adonis. How does it feel? It feels great. It feels like I've uh, I know him better than I ever have before, uh, I think you know, being able to tell the story through and through, um, you know, it, it, it feels like I was finally getting, be, I was finally able to get to all the details of him. Uh, yeah. This movie being an origin story and a trilogy, going back to his past and really like, you know, showing those transformative years that really made him who he was as a kid. Yeah. whether it be the childhood trauma, you know, who protected him, where did he learn how to fight, you know, his first real bonds, friendships. Those are all things that shapes us as people, as humans throughout life. So I felt like we really needed a clear depiction of what that was in this movie. So when we, you know, when we pick up with him in present day, you understand, you know, the man that he is and kind of a little bit of what he's gone through. And, you know, we'll find out throughout the movie all those things in detail. But but for me, I felt like I, I had an opportunity to be as honest as I've ever I've ever had a chance to uh, playing Adonis Adonis Creek, and that's something that I love from the movie too. I mean, uh, Adonis doesn't have only to fight his rival, but he also have to fight against his past and at some point uh, 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 fight about uh, against himself. So, do you think that it's something that we can achieve in the real life? That's basically the struggle that all have in our real lives. Do you think that is something that we can achieve? I think so. You know, for you know, those are yes, <laughs> I do. You know, I I I think you know we all walk around with some trauma. So like, and we, sometimes we forget. We try to forget. We try to move on. We protect ourselves. We protect our reality by by not addressing what it is. But that it's still there, you know. And after time, it's gonna it's gonna fester. It's gonna grow. And it's gonna become a bigger thing, you know. And you don't know why you're you know you are the way you are in certain areas and certain parts of your you know your your personality. So I think it, it, I think we do. That's why I wanted to show this this character going through that, you know. So you can so when people are watching this movie, they can you know they can they can think back to their own experiences and how they need to or might want to address certain things so they can become a better person for the future, for their family, for themselves. So that was that I, I definitely feel like, you know, that that's something achievable. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's something that it makes the, the, the movie so real. We want to thank you, um, Michael, because it's really an honor to be able to speak with you. Uh, Creed number Creed three. It's a great movie. We wish you the best. And thank, thank you, you so for much. being with us. Man, thank you for having me, man. All right. Take care.